Until March this year, Lillian Keen Mugera was the executive director of Platform for Labor Action, an organization she founded in 2002. The NGO promotes the rights of vulnerable and marginalized workers, mainly by providing legal aid services. On 1st April this year, she took on a new role as country director, a part-time and consulting position in the same organization. So that I give room for the organization to survive beyond me as the founding director. Lillian now plans to concentrate on building her new business of getting jobs for others, especially young people, abroad and ensuring that their rights are not violated. Her focus is on the United Arab Emirates. External recruitment of labor taking people to Dubai, Abu Dhabi. There are opportunities for you, but what kind of opportunities should be given? What kind of information should be given to you? Lillian is the eighth born of ten children. Her father was a county judge and her mother a housewife. Her husband, Haji Tamale Mugera, with whom they have two children, is a businessman. She is proud that her 23-year-old daughter, now pursuing undergraduate studies at the prestigious Yale University in the U.S., is one of the few Ugandans to study there. She has the challenge of enabling other Ugandans get into that space. She also speaks fondly of her 18-year-old son, now attending the Africa Leadership Academy in Johannesburg, South Africa. Lillian encourages parents to impress it upon their children the importance of excelling both academically and socially. The world today is you need to network, you need to be social, you need to do extracurricular, you need grades. So how do you balance all that? That is if you're willing to be part of the 10% of the world. On Marta's religion, it's a mixed bag in the family. She is Christian and her husband is Muslim. I'm a Christian. I raised my children to, to value prayer and what I tell them when they are praying in the Islamic way, they need to know the meaning in English. I ask whether her controversial beliefs don't attract criticism and cause tension in the family. I only had an instance once in her life when a friend of ours visited her home and asked why are all these pictures in your house. In Islam, they do not allow pictures of weddings or what in your household. And to me, I was in shock. So I told my husband, but that is interfering in our privacy. Lillian freely reveals that she is 49 years old. She is passionate about domestic workers and is optimistic that one day Uganda will have a minimum wage law. I value domestic helpers to a great extent, especially if you want to excel as a woman. Because managing a, a marriage, excelling at the career ladder as a woman, you need to balance the two. You could have gotten married to a husband who says, I want Matoke, I want Luwombo. How are you going to manage that when you have an age to five? You have three kids to look after. Many people, especially women, abuse house helps and don't value their work. But Lillian urges them to appreciate that domestic workers contribute a great deal in enabling today's career women scale the ladders of success. If you've left someone home, much as you pay them less, they contribute to your peace of mind and your, let me use that word, productivity. Because you're not worried. Platform for Labor Action has a legal aid program to assist domestic workers and other marginalized groups in case they get challenges. We have lawyers who are available on call. There's a toll-free line. We emphasize alternative dispute resolution because the court process takes long. But when that fails, that's when we, we do court work. But many women prefer to have their sisters or other relatives help out instead of a paid maid. Even if they are your, young, your sister or what, so they are not working, they come to your house to assist you, or how does it work? Because it is some form of labor in one way or the other, which is not recognized. And that is partly because we view this whole domestic chores as responsibilities of women, so we do not define them as work as well, if we, even as women. At university, Lillian was a volunteer with the Federation of Women Lawyers, FIDA, and worked on weekends. A study on domestic workers she helped conduct in Kampala showed that many suffered sexual abuse. That is how she founded Platform for Labor Action. Her proudest moment was last year when the Uganda Law Society bestowed on her the Female Human Rights Lawyer of the Year Award. And I was like, so my peers have been able to recognize my whole so many years of contribution to addressing human rights of women. This is the Uganda she would like to see in her lifetime. If there was a mechanism 
where Ugandans believe in community work, where people who have money also understand giving a bit of it to those who do not have. She would also like to see a generation of women making independent but carefully thought out decisions. How generous am I with my body? There is no man who ever approaches a woman without having defined their goal. They are chasing something. So for your woman, what are you chasing? In 2002, Lillian became an Ashoka Fellow, a global network of entrepreneurs, and she is keen on sharing what she has learned. She went to Berkeley High School in Iganga, Gayaza High School, Macquarie University for a degree in law, and then the Law Development Center for a diploma in legal practice. Lillian also holds a Master's of Arts degree in Governance and Development from Sussex University in the UK. Josephine Karunji, NTV.